Next problem, four points. Maybe a good idea just to plot the points. Yes? You wrote zero. Yeah, but that was my bad. I meant three. OK, good idea just to plot the points, get an idea of what we're dealing with? Yeah. Can we go up to Algebra 1 class and say, hey, could you guys graph and plot these points for us? That'd be kind of good. That'd be like a little workers, like, hey, you guys plot the points. Because plotting the points is not the, the issue, except you plot them wrong, like I did on that one example. Um, but what, we, what we're learning in this class is how to take those points and then you know, understand what we get from that. So automatically, guys, I look at these two, and I see that negative 311 and negative 3 over 0. Um, automatically here, I see that I have a vertical transverse axis, right? Um, my vertices are at negative 3, 9, negative 3, 9. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oops, I graphed that wrong. So there's my vertices. There's my foci. Um, this is at negative 3, negative 2, which is my vertices. Now, the important thing, guys, is I need to figure out what the midpoint is, right? So crap, because the midpoint's not really that easy anymore. Right? Wouldn't you guys agree? So you could either do either midpoint formulas for either of them. I know my x coordinate is going to be negative 3, but my y coordinate is going to be negative 9 plus negative 2 divided by 2, right? Which is going to be a negative 11 divided by 2, which you'd get the same thing over there. So it's is a negative 11 halves. That's going to be my center. So remember, when, remember in the ellipses when we did this, all the problems I gave you guys were nice, easy midpoints, right? And you just, oh, let me just count. This is easy. I don't need to remember how to find the midpoint. But in this one, it's not really that nice. I mean, it's not hard. It's just 11 halves. But you've got to figure out that is exactly the midpoint there, right? And 11 halves, guys, could be rewritten as what? Roughly as like a decimal. We could say that's like 5.5. So if you needed to graph it, you know, you could say basically that's at negative 5.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're like right in between there and half. And again, guys, I don't want to get like overboard with you guys graphing decimals, but just for approximation purposes. All right, so we need to write the equation though. So we have our h and our k. Oh. So our center is negative 3 comma negative 11 halves. Um, do we know what our a and our b and our h is going to be? Oh, God, this one is not fun. So our vertices is going to be the distance from these two, right? So maybe we should look at the decimal. Well, let's not look at the decimal form. Um, let's see the distance. Um, so that's going to be, so if I wanted to find the distance from this, if this is at negative 2. Well, let's see this. If this is at negative 2 and this is at negative 5.5, yeah, let's just, let's just be simple terms. What is the distance from here to here? Negative 2 to negative 5.5, 3.5, right? Now, obviously, we could convert that to a fraction, but I'm just going to leave that. Um, actually, you know what? Let's actually write this as a fraction. I'm going to subtract those negative 2 minus negative 11 halves. Um, that's going to be, no, that's a, sorry. Seven halves. And then from there, I'm going to have 0. and that's going to be 5 halves, which is 11 halves. 11 halves. And then therefore, that distance is going to be 11 halves. So the distance from my center to my vertice, which is going to be my a, is going to equal 7 halves. Or you could just think of it as 3.5. And my uh, c, which is going to be the distance from my c, which is going to be the distance from my center to my vertice, is going to be 11 halves. Now again, guys, this is getting a little bit more advanced with the um, 
the work, but I'll just kind of finish it because we did start in. There's a little more, probably a little more fractions than you guys need, but we'll, um, we'll get it done regardless. So again, you could look at this in decimals or in fractional form. But we know the center, we know everything's vertical, so again, we're going to use the equation y plus 3 squared over my a squared, which in this case is 49 over 4, and then minus x minus h, so it would be x plus 11 halves squared all over b squared. Now, we don't know what b squared is, so we could say 49 fourths plus b squared equals 121 fourths. And then you go ahead and subtract them. So b squared is going to equal 121 minus 49. Anybody, anybody, 121? Yes? Is it the three supposed to be the x? It is. Thank you. See, remember I told you guys don't make that mistake, right? Told you guys don't make that mistake. It's a very, very common mistake. If you're not thinking and you're going through your mind, 121 minus 49, huh? 72. 72, thank you. So therefore, we are getting 72 force. Now, that doesn't look that pretty, does it? Right? So one thing we can do is instead of dividing by a fraction, we could multiply by the, dividing a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So a easier way to write this would be 4 times y plus 11 halves squared over 49 minus 4 times x plus 3 squared over 72 equals 1. It's not um, 